people think this is a joke people think this is funny and it's really not i no longer feel safe and i feel very uncomfortable going in there <laughs> Welcome back. I wanted to make a video to pretty much update you guys on what's been going on with me and what I have to say about this coronavirus and just a whole bunch of stuff that's been going on. Let's just jump right into it. I had a really, really, really bad case of tonsillitis. Very, very horrible, painful experience. I could not talk. It hurt to swallow. It hurt to cry. When I was starting to feel something was wrong with my throat, I was scared things wasn't in order no more. I was trying to test it out like, <laughs> When I knew I couldn't do that anymore, that's how I knew something was wrong. How did I get tonsillitis? I don't know, but I don't ever want to experience that again for the rest of my life. My doctor told me that it's viral it can spread through cough sneezing at first they thought it was mono i don't really think that had anything to do with it but i'm feeling much better i was on some strong medication to kill that infection get rid of that inflammation on my tonsils and i was all set to go and it was just a pretty horrible experience also because this was around mid to end February, beginning of March when I was feeling all this stuff going on. I had went to the ENT to get it looked at or whatever. And you know, the talk of this coronavirus, it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as now. This was before they closed everything down, closed all the doctors down and all of that. But when I started to feel my throat feeling funny, it took place at work. That's why I got paranoid because a few people in my job tested positive for the coronavirus. I work in a warehouse, so the building is pretty big, but still that freaked me out a little bit. So they got rid of the people that got sick and they're on quarantine or whatever, but you don't know who they've been around and who they exposed that to. And I got freaked out because one day I was at work as my throat was feeling a little funny throughout the day, a few employees said that they throat was starting to hurt. And that's when I freaked out. I'm not going to lie. I'm already a hypochondriac. I haven't been at work because I no longer feel safe. And I feel very uncomfortable going in there. Because unfortunately, more people have tested positive for this coronavirus at my job. Some have passed away. Some are out of the building on quarantine. That doesn't really help with the way I feel because... You don't know who these people have been around and who's exposed to it. People walking in and out my job every day. People walking around right now with no symptoms of being sick. I was afraid of bringing something home. And y'all know my grandma is here. I would hate for that situation to happen. I don't want to catch nothing. And I damn sure don't want to spread it to anyone else in this house. Everyone else in this house is working from home, doing their school things at home. Everybody's at home and I was the only one leaving out the house, going to work, scared for my life. My grandma would worry about me every time I leave the house. Tears finna come out her eyes. She was praying for me as I walked out the door. I just couldn't do it anymore and I was scared. So I'm home safe. Everybody here is good. Grandma is good. We all good. I'm definitely keeping everyone at my job in my prayers, especially for the people that lost their loved ones there due to them catching the coronavirus. I'm praying for the people that caught it and hopefully they're recovering. Please stay safe because this is getting really, really bad. It's just crazy how worse things got with this coronavirus. Like I remember hearing about it on the news back in December about one case of something called coronavirus in China. And now it has spread all over the world. It's so sad how a lot of people have died from this. It's sad that people lost their jobs. So many people have filed for unemployment. I believe it's like six million people, probably more than that. I know of a few people that are working from home, but they're experiencing pay cuts, no graduation, everything is closed down, no nail shops, 
They had lockdown in China, and I believe they're out of their lockdown after 76 days. So they're back to keeping things running, and they developed some new technology where they got these helmet goggles on, and they can just look at a crowd and detect temperature. As far as getting groceries, my grandma was the one that always did the grocery shopping. She loves it. As things kept getting bad, I didn't want her going out there anymore to the stores or anyone else in the house. So I was willing to take that chance to go out to these stores and get food and make sure everybody gets what they need over time as things kept getting bad my mom and everybody else wanted me to stay out the stores and all of that now we currently get our groceries delivered we felt that that was a safer way to get food before i stopped going out to these stores i did film a few things so i want you to take a look at what i seen when i was out I had seen some paper towels. They were pretty big in the package. As I was walking towards it, this lady comes around the corner with her cart. I assumed that she knew what I was walking towards because I was approaching it and she speeds up, kind of runs a little bit with her cart, grabs the paper towels, all of them, puts it in her cart, tries to avoid eye contact with me and walks away. Take it, cause it's not that serious. Well, at least she still got some good positive spirit. I'm currently on my way to pick up um, a prescription from the pharmacy. I just wanted to point this out that there is not one person that I have seen that doesn't have a mask on. I mean, every person that passes by me in a car has a mask on. People walking, they have masks on. And it's just really scary seeing this because on the news, they're saying that they want everyone to wear a mask now when they leave the house, even though at first they said well, it wouldn't protect us. And unfortunately, I can still tell that people are not taking this seriously because I was at a red light and I was next to a gas station and it was four people that were standing beside the gas station, smoking cigarettes really close to each other, no mask on, nothing. One of them passed the cigarette to the other person and then he smoked the cig. I can tell people still aren't taking this seriously and it's sad. People think this is a joke. People think this is funny and it's really not. When I was at them stores like Walmart, it was really crazy. I've never seen anything like that in person where people were just on top of each other, grabbing things, grabbing water, toilet paper, bleach, Lysol, wipes all of that seeing all these videos online where these nurses have their mask on and all of this protective wear on explaining how this is serious and how people need to stay home and take this stuff seriously it's really terrifying the hospitals being filled and all these hospitals that they're putting up in a few days and these places that they're opening up for more rooms since they're out of rooms like ugh, so much
saying that people are just dying right after one another. It's just really horrifying seeing all of that. I pray for those healthcare workers risking their lives to save lives. For real. To everyone else out there that's still working, essential workers that's out there still working, you guys are really, really brave. Please stay safe. To the grocery store workers, y'all too. Grocery store workers passed away and caught the coronavirus. It's just really, really sad. A tiger in the Bronx caught the coronavirus. Here, there was a lockdown um, downtown and at certain parks because people wasn't taking the social distance seriously. And I believe that because people still hanging out and having parties and drinking and smoking behind one another. And I just don't understand that. Like people are dying. You seeing all this stuff on the news and this isn't alarming enough for you to take a step back and be like, whoa, wait a minute. This is getting real out here. And then people thought it was cute to lick on toilets and lick on different surfaces and people spitting on people, coughing at people, spitting and coughing on food at the grocery store. I just don't understand what went on in their minds for them to think that that was okay. That just shows you how there are a lot of evil, nasty, ignorant people in the world and that's very sad when i turn on the news it's always something that's coming up it's an increase in deaths all over the place it's new symptoms popping up with this coronavirus a friend of mine sent me a recording i want you guys to listen to it information from vienna's laboratory studying covid19 say vast majority of people who died had ibuprofen advil in their system do not take it those who recovered did not take ibuprofen. So if you have symptoms, take paracetamol, acetaminophen, Tylenol only. It looks like this virus thrives on ibuprofen, so don't do it and tell everyone you can. I just spoke with my friend who was a nurse at, uh, in Vancouver, and they just learned that Advil makes the virus 10 times worse. Tylenol only for the time being. She said Advil kickstarts the virus into pneumonia. She also said she found people in their 40s and 50s who were previously healthy to be on ventilators and having major difficulty breathing because they took Advil. Now, I was a little concerned when I heard that because I always did take ibuprofen, but my doctor took me off of it because it thinned my stomach lining out. And I know a few family members of mine that take Advil and stuff like that. So I alerted them just in case. I'm not taking ibuprofen no more because of what it did to me. So if you guys haven't heard about that already, just be alert. And I was on social media and then that's when everyone all of a sudden was saying, don't take Advil, don't take ibuprofen. I read something online, not sure if it's true or if it's a reliable source, but they were pretty much saying that if someone sneezes in a grocery aisle, that sneeze can spread two owls over. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And I'm saying, oh my gosh, because that was supposed to show what can happen when someone doesn't cover their mouth when they sneeze or cough. They were showing how far those germs can go. And a lot of people actually do that. They do not cover their mouths when they sneeze or cough. They think that's cute. When you do uh-huh, 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 I'm pretty sure that won't go as far as you doing uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh out in the open. Cover your mouth. More workers passing away. People in the nursing homes passing away or catching the virus. It's just really depressing. There are people, a lot of people that have recovered from this coronavirus and I don't really hear about that too much. I'm just hearing about a lot of deaths. That's what I like to hear. I like to hear that people are recovering from this virus. Even the celebrities that caught this virus, thankfully, some recovered. Unfortunately, some passed away. I was told by someone that they think a young person like me or a younger can't catch this virus, so it's nothing to worry about. I don't know if that's why they think it's cool to still go out and not follow the social distancing orders, but let me tell you something. An infant 
in the U.S. was the first infant to pass away from the coronavirus. And it's people in the hospital right now that's young that caught this virus. So that's false, that if you young, you can't catch it. No, it's young people that passed away from this virus that didn't even have no underlying health conditions. This virus does not care who you are. Stop playing. I'm praying and hoping that this comes to an end really, really soon because I'm tired of hearing about this. I'm tired of hearing about people dying every day. I'm praying for our black community too because now they're talking about we're more likely to pass away from this coronavirus than anyone else. I don't wanna hear that. I know there's so much more that's going on with this pandemic. I believe that we will overcome this soon. Everyone just needs to do their part and definitely stay positive during this horrible time. I just wanted to get on here and update you guys about how I've been doing and how I've been feeling about all of this. I hope all of you guys are doing okay. If anyone is going through a rough time or has lost their job or anything like that, lost a loved one, my heart goes out to you. I will keep you and your families in my prayers. We will be okay and we will make it through this. I do hope you guys enjoyed this little update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below on what you have to say about this and what's going on and how you feel. Stay safe, wash your hands. Stay home. Y'all know what to do. In the meantime, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.